What's up, you certified beauties? Nick here from Nick's Taxes. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about the Canada Recovery Benefits and everyone that is applying for the CRB, Canada Recovery Benefit. Now, I've made some videos, obviously, every time that a new application period for the CRB is released and ready to be applied for, uh, I come out with a video talking about the eligibility and how many more periods are left and what periods you can apply for and so on and so forth. A comment that I've been getting recently in these videos now is asking me what I think about the CRB running out and if there's going to be uh, an extension of these CRB applications. As you may know, the Canada Recovery Benefit lasts for 13 periods, which is the total of 26 weeks. The CRB uh, runs for a period uh, of two weeks at a time, so 26 weeks, 13 periods that you can apply for. The periods start from September of 2020 until September of 2021 uh, for that full year basically, but you can only get 13 periods. The idea is once you use those 13 periods, whether in succession or not, you've exhausted your Canada Recovery Benefit eligibility amount and you need to resort to other options uh, to you know, get an income. Well, for people that have been applying, we are now past CRB eligibility number 10. Uh, so there's only a few eligibility periods left if you've been applying consecutively. And with the state of our country and the economy, the fact of the reality is there's not a whole lot of people that have been able to find jobs uh, in the meantime. And so kind of the outlook between now and uh, kind of mid-March when some of these CRB, uh, the 13th CRB eligibility, eligibility period uh, comes to an end, uh, the outlook doesn't look too good. You know, like here in Ontario, we just, our area just moved into the red zone from the gray zone. So like not a whole lot has changed and it doesn't look like anything's gonna change anytime soon. In fact, doctors are saying be prepared now for a third wave coming in February, which, or not February, coming in April. So, you know, there's more fear being drawn into the equation. There's more lockdowns, very hesitant uh, reactions from our leadership. And so the fact of the reality is, uh, you know, things like restaurants and these gig economy type of jobs, doesn't look like they'll be open come like mid-March or even the summer for that time being. Canada, as of right now, hasn't said anything regarding a CRB extension. Um, Trudeau hasn't come out and said anything. I've been looking, haven't been able to find anything, uh, but I do know there is a labor uh, group that is pushing for an extended CRB uh, eligibility periods that would push the CRB qualifications uh, till at least the end of this year. So that would be the end of 2021 or maybe just till you know September of 2021 and you could apply for all the periods. We'll see what happens with that. As of right now, to answer the question, is there a CRB extension? There is not, there is no extension. So once you're done the 13 periods, as of right now, you are done. Now, next question is what is next? How, what do I do after this? Well. There's a couple options, and if you are able to maneuver things correct, you can take advantage of uh, the two other recovery benefits that are available right now. The first benefit is the Canada Recovery Caregiving Benefit, and you can apply for that if you are looking after someone. So I've made video uh, on this benefit in the past, and I'll link it here for you guys. But basically, if you're staying home because you are looking after someone, say someone is sick, or if you have a child who normally goes to a daycare but the daycare is closed, you are considered you know, caregiving, uh, you can take that time off work or you can, you know, if you have to take that time off work, sorry, to take care of someone else, uh, you can apply for that benefit and you can get the same amount of money, $500 a week, the next benefit is also the Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit. So if you are missing out on work because you are sick, well then you also qualify for 
this sickness benefit. And again, it's the same amount, $500 per week, and that's good for another couple weeks. So if you're able to take advantage of those two benefits, the caregiving benefit and the sickness benefit, uh, you might be able to kind of extend out those periods. We'll see what happens in the upcoming days and weeks and months ahead. But as of right now, again, there is no update on a CRB extension. However, I am interested to hear what you guys have to say or what you guys think about uh, regarding an extension. Let me know in the comments below uh, your situation and what you think is going to happen. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. I'm also gonna be coming out with a couple videos regarding more of taxes, how to file your tax return, different tax softwares, all that kind of jazz, and a couple new stock picks that I think are gonna to go to the moon. Uh, so stay tuned for those, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. Uh, make sure you like this video, just show support to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully with some better news for some of you. Uh, but yeah, that's all for me today. I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes, and as always, happy taxing.